Is it? But beyond all that, I did want to read, because Chris pointed it out to me, WoW's making you sign a social contract. Hmm. So that we all could be on bestest behavior. Bestest behavior. We all need to be good people. Yes, we all need to be very nice if we're going to play WoW. We all need to be good people. I actually don't mind this, but I haven't read it, and I wonder how vague it is. That's my, that's my concern. Here it is. Let's have a little look-see. On last week's PTR World of WoW, uh, getting ready for Dragonfly, obviously, uh, we have a global social contract. When you log into the game, you will be presented with the social contract, and you must all agree to it. Otherwise, you can be called Naughty Boys. So if this specifically mentions experience potions, I'm going to be one Saj mofo and feel harassed. I will feel single targeted, and I don't want that in my life. Uh, is there a summary of this? Yeah, there is. All right, awesome. Hi, Chael! Hail Traveller! Welcome to the world of Warcraft. Azeroth is a living, wor living world full of people like you. Bullshit! Ain't nobody like me. A lot of pores around know me. Other players with different backgrounds, cultures, experiences, and histories who all come together to play WoW. Every player deserves to have a world that they feel safe in, so please take a minute to read our social contract. While the Azeroth, do your best to connect with other players and make friends. Being courteous in group content can help you and your teammates have the best time possible. Sending a friendly hello message can help set your group up for success. True. True. Play as a team. Nope. Nope. Whether in dungeons, raids, battlegrounds, arenas, or out questing in the world, do your best to support your team through your communication and behaviors so that you can all celebrate your success together. Assist other players that you encounter in the world. Maybe they need some help defeating a tough monster, or maybe they could use a little healing. Now, to be fair, I always healed somebody in trouble or helped them kill their enemies. But there have been occasions when I found somebody who was clearly a douche nozzle dying and I've watched. And I've savored that moment. <laughs> or they were tagging a rare monster that I wanted and I kind of hoped they died so I could tag it and take it from them. This is back in the day. This is back in the day. But, I mean, I feel like that's my right. I feel like that's my right. Help answer questions others can have in chat channels like general or trade. We were all newbies once and a person offering some help can go a long way. True. We recognize that the internet is not always a safe haven. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Absolutely not a safe haven. In fact, quite dangerous sometimes. Quite dangerous. Definitely terrifying. <laughs> I chew <chewed> out. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, with that in mind, please note the following behaviors are not accepted in Azeroth. Hate speech, including negative comments to target other players' identity, including aspects like race, gender, or ability. Or, or ability. So you can now no longer call people shitters. Just gets, gets old. Harassment, threats, or abusive derogatory language and behavior. You can't call them fucking shitters. All right. That's important. Uh, spamming, advertising, or other disruptive behaviors. You are now against the social contracts, you spamming dipshits. If you harm your fellow adventurers with any of the above behaviors, you are subject to punishment, up to and including suspension of your account. It's a big world out there with all sorts of people in it, so please try and be respectful of each other. And if you ever feel like somebody's acting against this code, please report those behaviors so that our team can look into it. Together, you can make us help. Wow, a safe home for everyone. A safe home from everyone. I think that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's very uh, open to interpretation of what you consider harassment, which is fine. Uh, no problems with that. Uh, I think that's more about people that have physical disabilities. Oh, maybe. Uh, I don't know. You can take that either way. You think that's physical disability? Perhaps. But even FF doesn't follow that. Because remember when they put that guy in a wheelchair and then they named the next, next piece of content Endwalker? Kind of hardcore. I mean, where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line, right? I mean, that happened. 
I mean, I like Arambald, but I mean, that was a bit on the nose, if you ask me. It was a little bit to the face. A little bit to the face. Uh, are you on Finistride? No, nothing. Nothing like that. Woodox, thank you very much. Dragada, thank you, you wonderful human being. I prefer a FF social contract. Be super strict and hand out add left and right. I mean, this is a good thing. Um, this is a good thing. The amount of people, you guys are probably the only people in the world besides any other streamer who's going to read this thing. Scroll and accept, sure. Scroll and accept. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with this kind of stuff. Let's face facts. Some real dickheads on the internet. Let's face facts. There are some real fucking dickheads out there on the internet. Some real dickheads. Yeah, there are. There are. There aren't many of them, but they're fucking loud. They're fucking loud. They're super loud. There are some turbo shitters. Not nice people at all. Just these one line, don't be a dick. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> we don't have enough GMs to police this. I wonder if how many spirit. The problem is when it gets abused, right? Let's suppose you were doing something like if we were to draw an analogy, let's suppose you were doing something really innocent. For example, let's say you weren't allowed to use some third party tools, but you wanted to see, say, like what people were saying above their heads to create a more immersive atmosphere of who was talking rather than it being a text box, right? Let's say you wanted to do that. But, and you're not affecting anything in any way, you're not upsetting anybody, you're not disrupting game balance, you're not affecting another player's experience or anything like that. But some people know that technically that is against uh, your social contract and the TOS and use that to attack you in some way. Uh, and like, you know, go out of their way to bully you in that way. Perhaps that was the thing. You know, yeah, that's why you've got to be careful with these spurious, spurious ways. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, you just hire game masters. Well, I found out this thing because uh, obviously we've had people in the community, um, very close people actually, who have worked at Blizzard's call centers uh, of G as GMs. Uh, lots of people, hi, uh, in the chat who have previously worked as GMs for Blizzard. But I only found out last week they've actually eliminated practically all of them now, and you can't speak to them anymore uh in any way because they used to be you could you used to be you could call up and talk to somebody but they've, they've all gone now and um, we know that like the offices in france were closed down uh, i think the irish team is getting closed down as well because they had a team in ireland i think they're on their way god knows what's happening in the u.s no idea no idea but s so many of them have been gone have gone now <laughs> good we don't want the irish <laughs> You used to be able to start some game. Can you, I mean, surely you can put in-game tickets now and someone replies to you, right? I would imagine that still happens, is that if you make a ticket, someone replies to you. No? No? It's automated? You have to be... So how do you... Uh, wait, so how do you report a problem now? Just via, like, email? Do you have to use the website ticketing system? Is that how it works? And someone replies to you like via ticket via website. Yeah, 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 yeah. Post on Twitter. <laughs> Basically just constantly reset tickets till someone real talks. You don't a bot reads buzzword. Oh, it's like an algorithm. Oh, it's a responsive algorithm. Okay, okay, okay. 